it going, everybody? This is Josh, and it's your weekend inspiration. So I got a couple of things to talk about today. Um, first off, I didn't do a video last Friday uh, for weekend inspiration, and I want to use that as an example of how you can let negativity get you down. So um, I was just kind of in a negative spot for myself. Last weekend, uh, Friday was a really busy day. I've got a lot on my plate. Um, I was working on some stuff and I got a couple of messages about how I hadn't put out Weekend Inspiration yet. And I thought it was like somebody being cool, like, yo, where's Weekend Inspiration, man? Because I do get people that tell me they really enjoy these Friday Weekend Inspirations. And uh, two of them turned out to be like, yeah, you're dumb, you're an idiot anyways. Nobody cares to see that. We just thought it was funny you gave up on it. Uh, and nobody watches it anyways. And I kind of just let that get to me. And I went, you know what? Fine, I won't put one out. Let's just see uh, who says anything. And you know what? Awesomely, I got kind of flooded with some messages throughout the week, uh, the weekend, everything asking where the video was at. So that was really, really cool for me. So I, I won't skip another one and I'm not going to let other people's negativity get me down. Uh, so if you guys want to help me show people that, uh, you know, you guys actually watch this and you actually, you know, even entertain excuse me, anything that I have to say, uh, you know, make sure you like this stuff, comment on it, uh, say hi, even just comment hi on this uh, so we can say hi to the people that, you know, hate. And that's going to happen no matter what you do. Uh, so I'm using this as a lesson for, you know, not only myself, but for everybody else. Like if you're doing the right thing, that's when you're going to run into the haters and they're going to hate. So if you guys want to do me a favor, comment hi in the little comment box somewhere, uh, just so you can say hi to the people who had negative stuff to say. Let them know you're watching. If not, cool, I'm still gonna do them, I don't care. Uh, so that's where I'm at with, with, with that. And I wanna use this as kind of a platform for today for the weekend inspiration for your mindset. Um, and that's where this is going, is your mindset can make or break what you're doing, guys. Uh, that negativity, I mean, it even happens to me. It happens to people. That negativity starts to get you down and you just go, hey, you know what? Why should I even do this? Um, and for me, that was last Friday and through the weekend. It was kind of like, you know what? I've got so much stuff going on. I'm doing so many things. Um, you know what? If nobody wants to watch this or even cares, then why the heck am I even making it? You know, and that mindset kind of put me in a bad mindset for the rest of the weekend as far as getting things done. It's that negativity. So today I'm going to talk about your mindset and how that can affect what you're doing. And I really like my cool background. I hope you guys like it. Um, kind of cool with the purple. Uh, I, I like it. I like my beach themes. Uh, so I'm going to keep them going. Uh, but that mindset is really, really important. Um, and I want to just throw it out there for you guys. If you're out there trying, now I know you guys know I do a lot of business with, with real estate. I'm in real estate myself now, getting ready to get that platform launched and you know start moving forward with that. Um, and that's one of my new ventures. Uh, so I wanna get that stuff rocking and rolling and you know doing all these tests and all these things can really, really kind of get to, you know, kind of just it's boring and you're test after test after test and you're just like, oh my goodness. Um, it really can start to take a toll on you. And I think that's what happened with me as I let, you know, some people's negative uh, mindset and negative comments kind of get to me and I put myself in, uh, you know, my own negative realm and that wasn't good. Uh, so keeping a positive mindset and keeping pushing forward is really, really important no matter what you're doing. Whether you're out there trying to do your real estate biz, whether you're out there trying to become a broker, whether you're out there trying to do anything that you're trying to do, um, first off, I want to throw it out there that you can do anything that you want to do. Um, I mean, period. Anything that you want to do, you can do it. You just have to put your mind towards it. And I think some of the most important questions that you want to ask yourself, uh, if you are pushing forward with this stuff and you're not making it happen yet, or you do not feel like it's happening, happening as quick as you want it to, is to think about some things that might be setting it back. Like, why are you doing this? And if you're doing it for you, um, then it's going to happen. I feel like if you're doing it for somebody else, that that puts a hamper on what you're doing. Like, if this is your dream to go out there and do something, then you should be doing it for you. You don't have any predisposed notion that you need to please other people, that you need to make somebody happy, that you should be doing whatever this goal is or whatever this, this thing that you're building or whatever job you're doing. You shouldn't be doing that for someone else, whether it's to you know, make your parents happy or make your spouse happy or just anybody else. You should be doing it for yourself. And I think that's one of the key things right there of why people will fail at stuff is they're not doing it for themselves. If you're doing it for yourself, like right there, you're a step ahead of, of the game right there. 
so, you know, try and keep that positivity out there that, you know what, I'm doing this for me. This is the goal I want to achieve. This is what I want to go do. So for me, where that takes into effect is, you know, I was in bar and nightclub hospitality industry for, you know, 20 something years and I loved it. And it just got to a point where I just didn't, I didn't want to do it anymore. And I wanted to go do something else and I wanted to do it for me. I didn't go out and, you know, start a business for somebody else. I didn't go out and do this because I wanted to make somebody else happy. I mean, there's the obvious, I need to make money. I need to pay my bills. I need to take care of my family, obviously, but to go out there and do something that is, you know, what you want to do. Um, I'm sure everybody's heard it. If you love what you're doing for work, you never work a day in your life. And I like that. Uh, so I don't feel like I'm working. I put in a lot of hours because I'm out here doing this for me. And that's that positive mindset. So I know it sounds really cliche if you're watching this and you're going, oh, great. Here's another talk about you know, being, being positive in your mind. And nah, nah. So I came up with an example and I want to just throw that out there and I'm going to leave you guys with a quick example. I'm going to make today's video really, really short because I have a lot of prep that I need to do uh, for some cool stuff over the weekend and some stuff for uh, the next Tech Tuesday. It's going to be really awesome. I've got a lot of cool stuff I'm going to be putting out over the next couple of weeks that I hope you guys will enjoy and I hope will help other people in their business. Um, it's kind of what I'm setting up to do uh, along with the real estate is just some cool tools and some cool things uh, tech wise that are going to help a lot of people in their business, regardless of whether it's real estate or not. Uh, so the positive mindset and where you can go, oh, yeah, whatever, Josh, whatever, man, that stuff doesn't work. No, no, no. I want to talk about something and you can look this up. It's called the placebo effect. OK, so look that up if you don't believe me, uh, but it works like this. And a lot of those drug companies, I mean, even the vaccine companies, everything they do tests. I mean, we all know they do tests on their product. Right. So what the placebo effect is, is they take a group of people that all have the same ailment, whatever it is. Um, and let's say I don't know how many people they, they take and they do the tests on. But, you know, let's just say it's 100 people just for easy math. They will take 100 people and they will give. Uh, whatever that medicine is, it's supposed to cure that element, ailment, whatever, uh, they will give like half of them the actual pill or drug or whatever that's supposed to help fix that ailment. The other half of them, they will give like a sugar pill. It's nothing but like a capsule with sugar in it. And they don't tell them that they didn't give them that medicine, right? They just tell all 100 people you're getting this medicine, but they do it as a, like a double blind test, something really cool. Um, but the funny part is what they find in those test studies is that a lot of times those people that weren't getting actual medicine, they were just getting the, the, the sugar pill and they thought they were getting the medicine. Those people report that they feel better, that that ailment, whatever it is that they're taking this medicine for has gone away. They're doing better. They're doing more awesome. And, you know, this pill really works. This is a miracle drug. It's really works. Huh? When in reality, all they were doing was taking a sugar pill. And you know what made them better? It was their mind. Their mind actually has the power to fix any type of thing that you want to do. So that's really where that positive mindset can come in is that placebo effect is if you can really start keeping yourself in a positive mind frame, you're doing this for yourself, you're doing good out there is your mind can actually start to put kind of that energy out there, whether it's in your own body or whether it's pushing it out somewhere else that is going, hey, we're going to make this happen for you because the mind is a powerful thing. So I want you to take that with you. Think about how you could take that placebo effect and use it to affect your own lifestyle, your own changes and the goals and the things that you want to accomplish. And remember, guys, it takes a while. So if you've been working at this and you've been trying to reach a goal and it just seems like it's taking forever, it's not taking the time you want. I like to put it in this way. It doesn't happen overnight, you guys. It's just like if I wanted to have a six pack and be ripped, right? Just because I go and buy the gym membership and walk in there one day, I'm not going to like tomorrow have a six pack and be all stacked and look like Thor. I'm going to have to go and consistently go and I'm going to have to stick to that schedule and I'm going to have to stick to that routine and it's going to happen over months and months and even, you know, a year, two years, whatever, depending on how dedicated I am to making that goal happen. So take that and think about that and whatever you're doing, it takes time and just keep at it. You guys, thank you guys for listening and joining in. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, which I hope you are, Check out some of the other videos over here. 
check out some of the other playlists over here and make sure to su subscribe. And again, guys, do me that favor. Give me some likes. Give me a couple of comments just to say hi to the hater people who messaged me last weekend saying that nobody watches this and nobody cares what I have to say. So I hope you guys do. It's been great. I'll talk to you guys on Tuesday. I got a really exciting thing on Tuesday. So tune in for Tech Tuesday. Have a good one, you guys.